in the morning and I decided to make chili. So it actually came out pretty good. I tried it. So what I used was I went to Walmart. I got some of this uh, Hormel chili, no beans. I fried um, hamburgers and I chopped them up separately. And I used this one to fry the shrimp and hot dogs. So shrimp and hot dogs in a pan separately and then hamburgers in this and I chopped them up into chunks and stuff like that instead of using ground beef. And I used pepper, onion powder, chili powder, red peppers to give it some heat, and minced onions. And I used one can of diced tomatoes. So I put that all in a pan, both pans. I got my kitchen's a mess. I gotta clean this whole kitchen up now. And I made this, and I mixed it in here. I used a little um. Let's see. Did I put the cheese back or where did that go? I know I didn't use it all. Did I use it all? Hold on. So well, this is what else I used. I used uh, pinto beans, whole corn. Red beans and Canelii beans, whatever beans these are. I just tried one. I grabbed one of each bean that I saw at Walmart and I got it. And I put it all together. I strained the beans in there. I didn't use the juice from them. I actually used all the juice out of it because I didn't want that to mix with the um, chili and it to be too loose. So I drained them all. I didn't cook them. I'm cooking them in here now. I didn't cook the beans. I cooked the beans in here. I did pre-cook the hamburgers and then chop them up and I pre-cooked the shrimp and the hot dogs. But the beans I didn't pre-cook, I put in here. And stuff like that. I mean, you could add onions and celery, but I don't like all that. I added cheese and I added some of this. Let me see what else I did. I added a little uh, Parmesan cheese. And then I added another cheese too. Let's see what we got here. So I added... Kobe and Monterey uh, Jack cheese. Kobe. Shredded cheese. So I added a half a bag of that. And I tasted it. Oh, it was so good. Let me look at that. That's um, Patty LaBelle's or somebody's um, pie. Um, peach um, berry cobbler. Yo, that is the best stuff on earth. And I got some mushrooms. I love pickled mushrooms. I went food shopping today. So, And look at this. Ah, this smells so delicious, man. I already tried it. I'm full because I ate, but this is going to be food for the week. Look at that. See how it's stringy? The cheese in there melts and holds it together. Oh, it's so good. And that's how you make my chili. I didn't put no onions, no um, celery and mushrooms, none of that. You, I did use the powder and the minced onions like in the thing, but I didn't cut. I don't feel like cutting all that. Plus, I like it this way. It tastes better and stuff like that. It's not as heavy. So that's Jermaine's chili. Um, try the recipe at home. See if you like it. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. I also cooked the um, hamburger and the shrimp and hot dogs and canola oil. I didn't use any particular oil. That's whatever oil they had. So it's like 1 o'clock. I got to get a shower. I got to go to work tomorrow. But, okay, uh, subscribe. Like this video. Leave your comments. And that's how you make Jermaine's chili. Peace.